aging. That's the subject of my upcoming book, How Not to Age. This video will give you just a taste of the body of evidence I'll be covering in the book. Check it out. Based on a study of more than 400,000 people, replacing just 3% of calories of animal protein with plant protein was associated with a 10% reduction in overall mortality risk. Uh, that comes out to be about an extra year of life, swapping out just 3% of any animal protein with plant protein. And egg protein was the worst, meaning egg whites. Swapping 3% of calories of egg whites for plant protein was associated with more than a 20% reduction in overall mortality, worse than red meat. But it's not just about adding years to your life, but life to your years. What about changes in dietary intake of animal versus vegetable protein and unhealthy aging? Healthy aging is defined as the process of developing and maintaining the functional ability that enables well-being in older age. Uh, no one wants to just be a vegetable, and you may be able to avoid that by eating more vegetables. A higher intake of vegetable protein was associated with less accumulation of deficits based on functional impairments, self-reported health and vitality, mental health, and diseases, and the use of health services. Swapping in just 1% of vegetable protein calories for animal protein led to significantly less deficit accumulation. Now, you may be thinking, duh, animal protein and animal fat travel alongside each other in the same food, so maybe this is all just a saturated fat effect. But no, even after accounting for fat, there still seemed to be something about the animal versus plant protein sources, though it's still not clear if the beneficial health effects are because of the avoidance of deleterious effects associated with animal foods or the beneficial effects of plants, though it may be a bit of both. A recent review in a dermatology journal on the role of a whole food plant-based diet in preventing and reversing skin aging emphasized this point. A whole food plant-based diet is not the same thing as just a vegan diet. You can have a terribly unhealthy vegan diet. As a physician, a vegan just tells me what you don't eat, but you actually have to like eat your vegetables too. But when you do, a whole food plant-based diet can aid in the prevention, in some cases reversal, of some of the leading chronic diseases in the United States, as well as the potential for younger-looking skin due to telomere lengthening, maximizing the antioxidant potential of our cells, and also eliminating harmful carcinogens and aging toxins known as gerontotoxins from entering our bloodstream. No wonder the highest life expectancy of any formally described population in the world may be the Adventist vegetarians in Loma Linda, California, one of the five original blue zones in the world. The average life expectancy of Adventist vegetarian men and women is into their 80s, about 6 to 10 years longer than the general population in California, with vegetarian, exercising, nut-eating, lower-weight, never-smokers living about 9 to 11 years longer than those lacking those qualities. So that's like 10 years of life up for grabs. Now, substantial gains in life expectancy would only be worthwhile if they were also accompanied by a longer period of good quality life. Although overall well-being has not been measured directly, vegetarian adventists have been recorded taking fewer medications and logging fewer overnight hospital stays and surgical procedures and x-ray examinations, and the reduced prevalence of several chronic diseases alone would presumably make life likely more worth living. The most feared disease associated with getting older is likely Alzheimer's disease. Dementia is one of our fastest-growing epidemics, affecting 1 in 10 individuals older than 65 years of age, and half of all individuals older than 85. Alzheimer's is the main type, and indeed the most feared. So when we're talking about plant-based diets for healthy aging, particularly intriguing, is emerging evidence that diet plays a major role in the prevention of age-related cognitive decline in Alzheimer's disease. It has been shown that a diet rich in fruits, grains, beans, vegetables, nuts, and seeds may cut the risk of Alzheimer's disease by more than half. This is the study they're talking about, the so-called MIND diet, which emphasizes natural plant foods, including specifically berries, the healthiest fruits, and greens, the healthiest vegetables, 
while limiting the intake of animal and high-saturated fat foods like meat and dairy. Stricter adherence to the MIND diet was associated with a 53% reduction in risk for Alzheimer's disease. In fact, even moderate adherence appeared to cut risk by a third. Overall, participants who showed high adherence to the diet had cognitive functioning equivalent to a person who was 7.5 years younger. No wonder people who ate meat, including poultry and fish, were more than twice as likely to become demented as their vegetarian counterparts, and we're talking three times the risk when past meat consumption was taken into account. This may be because plant-based diets are known to preserve body tissues from both oxidative stress and inflammation, hallmarks of these kinds of degenerative diseases. That may be why berries are so protective, since they're so rich in antioxidants. And in terms of inflammation, those who avoid meat display a higher abundance of anti-inflammatory compounds flowing through their systems, and lower levels of pro-inflammatory indicators like C-reactive protein. Dietary factors also influence the effect of stress on cognitive decline. Diets characterized by high intake of animal protein, saturated fats, and added sugars, along with low intakes of plant-based foods, can increase secretion of corticosteroids, uh, stress hormones like cortisol from the adrenal glands, which may promote the development of Alzheimer's disease. Then there are the gerontotoxins, the, the aging toxins like AGEs, advanced glycation end products in our diet, that may be a factor in the development of Alzheimer's. Uh, safe foods, foods that contain low AGE content, include starches like whole grains, beans, fruits, and vegetables, whereas the worst sources in the diet are broiled, grilled, fried, or roasted meats. Uh, the cooking process is important. Chicken breast has an AGE content of 1,000 units when boiled in water, like chicken soup or something. But that same chicken breast jumps up to 9,000 when broiled. Here's a list of the top 40 most AGE-contaminated foods tested in terms of AGEs per serving. As you can see, it's almost all meat, chicken, bacon, hot dogs, and on down the list. You know, I tell people to choose raw nuts and seeds to avoid AGEs, but even roasted, toasted nuts don't come close to making the list. Now, of course, it's not just diet. We need to get adequate sleep, rest, and physical activity. For example, daily brisk walks were associated with a 40% lower risk of developing Alzheimer's later in life, and smoking may double your risk of developing dementia. But in terms of preventing Alzheimer's with diet, the key takeaways are the following. Reduce added sugars, saturated fat, animal products, and processed foods in general, while eating more plants, especially greens and beans, fruit, especially berries, and reduce added salt.